Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moemon, my Momo run. It's time to deal with Agatha and probably Lance. I imagine those are both going to take a while. Especially since Agatha is fond of status effects. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes she'll whip out Confuse Rain stuff, so... I fear I'm going to have to basically try and do a setup on her. And there's always the risk of, um... Gengar deciding to double team its way to victory. Um, her initial Gengar just loves that, and I don't have anything that can really smack it around if it starts doing that, really. I may end up regretting setting up Skullcracking first, but Ghost Moves count as physical attacks still this generation, so if I can lower the power of, you know, Shadow Punch and stuff, I should probably go for it. That way, you know, it's a bit easier to throw down a few X specials and then try and go for a smash with um, Aura. Though I'm expecting if I do this, yeah, double team. Double team for days. Ugh. Well, I'll just have to take my chances, what can I say? If I can raise my, um, special enough, I can hopefully, you know, one-shot it, you know, just one psychic, bam, it's down. I don't have to worry about it after that. Despite how limited the move pool is, you know, I'm hoping with only two double teams up, there's a good chance, you know, I'll connect and it'll be all over here real fast. Who double team didn't work at all for Gengar. That's a shame. Not for me, but for Agatha. <laughs> all that sub work, and it did absolutely nothing for her. Probably gonna wish I'd used a uh, X speed though, because let's face it, <sighs> Lapras is definitely not the fastest of Pokemon. Well, whatever. Blast it with more psychic powers. Might drop an X speed on myself for the next one, because I know she has another Gengar. And I don't think it has double team, but. I like just like to uh, counter that, you know, she does by going first. I'm pretty sure that one's got a completely different build though, because it can. No, my luck, I'm gonna get hit with a glare while doing this. <laughs> oh, screech! Not a bad plan. I like it. It's one of my favorite tactics if I'm using Onyx, if I can get away with it. Onyx, use a screech attack, then follow it up with tackle. <sighs> okay. Lapras might just provide the sweep here. And that just leaves one more after this. I think it's a Haunter too, so... She's in a bad spot. Ah, going with Dream Eater, right? <sighs> I guess I need more um, X speeds. Well, whatever. Hypnosis isn't super accurate, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, Sludge Bomb. And I've had my defenses lowered. That just might kill me. Well, it's gonna do it now. Yeah, I could have tried healing, but, you know, at that point, I'd be trapped, probably. And that's just not very fun. Um, let's see. Get Skull cracking out there. Unfortunately, um, Gengar's got Levitate, so I can't really use Earthquake against it. Unfortunately. But, I can counter that, I suppose. By reviving Aura and bring her back out into the battlefield. That's gonna hurt more than I like, I bet. And poisoned, gosh darn it. Okay. We'll send in Toxic Spray, then switch back into Skull Kraken for another Intimidate, then switch over to Aura. Lower these as much as possible, you know? 
For it's not my luck, you know. It'll be critical hit time and just BAM, Skull Kraken's dead. <sighs> if it happens, it happens. Ah, I went for hypnosis, gotcha. Not a bad pick, I suppose. Not good enough to win, but not terrible. Put the target to sleep, then go for the kill while they're dreaming, right? Well, this poisons me. I'm definitely pulling out the full restore. Great. That lack of speeds making this a lot more annoying than it has to be. Okay, I guess I can drop a full restore at this point. At least I'll get rid of, um, hypnosis, right? Of course, not in my life, that's not gonna turn into poison, but... What you gonna do? At least now I can't be put to sleep, right? Though, if I get hit with another critical hit, I'm gonna be... irritating, because... This would have been, like, my best chance to go for the kill over here. <sighs> I'm gonna have to use up a Hyper Potion. I'll still end up taking damage, but... At least that way I can prevent, you know, Hypnosis coming back into play and hopefully finish off Gengar. I'm guessing she's gonna heal as well, though. Maybe. You're not? Okay. I figured for sure you'd go for a heal. Well, that's how you want to play it. Just a little bit more, and I think I can go for a one more blow knockout here. At least that's the hope. Okay. Luck do not fail me now. No critical hits here. Okay, Psychic. And that should get rid of Gengar. Okay. Everyone gets a bit of experience, except Tommy. Who hasn't seen much use at all so far. Well, darn it. Um, let's see. Do I want to use... Full restore or not, I'll go for it. Though I'm pretty sure um, Haunter uses Toxic as well. Probably. Oh, mean look? You're locking me in the battle, huh? Gotcha, so you gonna go for like a finishing blow right off the bat? Like Parish Song or something? No. Goes for Hypnosis. And he gets burned for it. Well, at least I didn't take any damage, I suppose. There is that. Yeah, I'll run along, alright. Oh yeah, I need to cure my Pokemon. Well, at least I don't take damage while going through the forced walk here, I guess. That's nice. Okay. Let's do it. Full restore. Okay. Stall Kraken's ready to do his job. Intimidate the ever loving daylights out of my rivals, um, Skull. other Gyarados, right? I guess it's not my true rival, but no, it's Lance, the Dragon Master. No way, he's better than your rival, because he uses dragons! What could be more awesome than that? I know, three dragons fused together! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, I know. But now's not the time, I guess, to talk about that. I'm somewhat surprised that some Gyarados doesn't know Dragon Dance, to be honest. Since it seemed like it'd be a good option to take. Basically gonna do a lot of switch-ins here early on just to power down this Gyarados as much as possible. Force it to use the Dragon Rage, you know? 
Because at least that's doing set damage, and I can counter that easily enough. Heck, I think most of this Gyarados' attacks are um, special beyond, you know, Hyper Beam. Look out for the Hobble Beam! It's the ultimate normal attack! Yeah, Bite's Dark, so special. But special attack stats just starts to turn off to really carry it here. Flinching's helpful sometimes, but not in this case. Okay. Probably three of those, then two X speeds, just to make sure I'm fast on that stinking Aerodactyl. I really don't want to get outsped by Aerodactyl and hit by a bunch of rocks or anything. That would be bad. I'm surprised he hasn't done Dragon Rage again. What's with all these bites? Are you hoping I'll forget about the Dragon Rage? Because I haven't. It's in the back of my mind, you know? Like, I know what's coming. Okay. Well, we're basically right at this point. Well, I'll just have my health up closer to full. We'll use a Hyper Potion. I probably could outspeed Gyarados at this point and sweep the rest of the team, but just in case they got a priority mover or something, we're gonna go with this. Ah, that hurt reasonably, a reasonable amount, I suppose. Um... I guess I can technically do another special here. After all, he's got to spend a turn doing recovery, so why not? Okay. Time for the shockwave. You ready to get shocked, Gyarados? <laughs> Poor Gyarados. That four times weakness to water just screws it over so hard sometimes. Okay. Poor Tommy, been stuck on the bench so far the entire time. Like, do I have a fourth Pokemon? It doesn't feel like it, does it? Okay, let's wash you away, Aerodactyl. Goodbye. And that basically just leaves a bunch of Dragonites and Dragonairs. Which, let's face it, um, probably aren't going to stop me. Ice Beam just be OP against Dragons. One down. Okay. I think, um, Aura's got this one locked up. Ooh, level 55, nice. Sheer cold, eh? Maybe. What's sheer cold even do? Ah. As cool as that sounds, I really don't care for a one-hit kill technique here. Um, it's not accurate enough for me to want to take a chance on it. I mean, if it hit more often, yeah, I'd, I'd consider it, but as it stands, no. <laughs> Just no. <sighs> Reminds me of Fissure, and I'm not entirely sure how that one works, if it's based on speed or what. Sheer Cold, I mean. Pretty sure Fissure was based on speed, Gen 1. Um, basically, you couldn't hit anyone with it if they were faster than you. Ooh, Dragonite, finally. Well, goodbye, Dragonite. We hardly knew thee. Okay. And that does it. Lance is defeated. Or I would be, if my rival hadn't beaten you already. Yeah, yeah, I do. 
well, I'll leave green for the next episode. On the grounds that it's probably going to get dragged out for a while, and I usually leave the credits in, too, so... Yeah. Until next time, then. See ya.